Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, today we're going to go over Omni-ROM. Uh, this is one of those ROMs that I don't even think that I've really uh, did a review on. Um, and if it was, it was quite a while ago. Um, I've been passing this ROM up uh, for a couple reasons, um, mostly personal. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the developers uh, or anything like that. It just has to do with the ROM itself. Um, at least in my mind being uh, not my cup of tea. You guys know if you've watched any of my videos in the past, uh, I like a ROM that has custom features uh, as far as coloring goes, um, uh, visual effects more or less. Um, and this ROM's not like that. Uh, this ROM is more, uh, Omni is built for speed. Speed, uh, fluidity, um, just absolute reliability. That is what this ROM uh, was built for. And that's what Omni's known for. Uh, it's known for its just uh, dead reliability. Um, so I figured, you know, since I didn't do a review on this uh, that I can remember, uh, I figured I'd get it out there let you guys see it. Uh, it shouldn't be a very long video, uh, like I said, again, because there, there aren't really a lot of custom features in it. Um, this is Omni-ROM. It is for the Nexus 6. Um, they do make this, uh, this ROM for quite a few other devices. Uh, you can go to the link that I give you um, in the uh, video description. Uh, and check out all the devices that they do uh, build for, which is a pretty extensive list. Uh, but we are going to go over the Nexus 6 again, guys, because that's the one uh, that I do have the, uh, uh, the audio mic for and stuff like that. So that's the one we're going to go over. Um, this is Android uh, 7.1.1 uh, for the Nexus 6 again. Uh, it does have the February security patch. This was the latest release. Um, I just, I think I downloaded uh, the uh, day before yesterday release, uh, or I guess they would call it the Valentine's Day release. Um, and I'm running Blackbird Kernel. Again, guys, uh, I like Blackbird Kernel. Omni has a good kernel. Uh, it's a very solid kernel. I don't think it force encrypts it. It's, uh, it's Omni. Uh, Omni really isn't one of those encrypting ROMs, uh, but don't take my word for it. Make sure you guys read the thread. Find out for yourself. Uh, but I am running, uh, I did try the uh, Omni supplied kernel. Uh, everything runs great on it. Uh, but I like the features that Blackbird gives me. That's the reason I'm running it. No other reason than that. Um, we're going to go into the very few custom features uh, that it does have. Uh, and again, guys, these features are strictly, a lot of them are just, they just come on Omni and no other ROM. Um, the first one up is called Bars. Uh, basically, a couple of the status bar settings, you have your brightness control, uh, double tap to sleep, you show IME notifications, uh, which, uh, of course, I have ticked on. Um, you have your network traffic. Uh, this, guys, you can turn on and off if you want. Uh, it doesn't allow for any coloring. Uh, Omni is not known for uh, coloring or theming very, very much, although it does support uh, substratum, but only in legacy mode. It does not support OMS substratum. So, um, if you guys like OMS, you're not going to be able to use it on this ROM. You have to, it, it's just going to run legacy. That means reboots. Um, and then, of course, you have your show IME, uh, IME and navigation bar, um, you know, if you guys want to uh, go there. Uh, next up is going to be buttons. Uh, you have your wake button, music control, basically volume control buttons. Uh, under others, your recents. Um, I'm running just default. Now, you can run the Omni switch, which Omni's known for. Uh, so, if we click on that, um, this is going to be Omni. Uh, it's basically a bar that runs across uh, the center. Well, you can set it up however you want. Um, that will give you your recents. Uh, and I don't know if I can click on it and let it show you. I don't think it's going to work that way. I haven't used uh, the Omni switch for so long. I can forget how to use it. Uh, but it does come with it. So if you guys want to use uh, Omni Switch, uh, again, it's it's there for you to use. Um, I don't. I usually go default. Uh, so you know, I, I like the, uh, the the whole Rolodex type uh, recent. So that's how I do it. But you guys can run with the Omni Switch. It does come with the Kill uh, App Last button, uh, and you could set it up for the, uh, the time. Right now, I have it for uh, uh, the 1500 milliseconds. It seems to be working fine for me. I didn't have any apps uh, just kill on me as a, you know just by hitting the back button. Um, so I'm going to leave it where it's at. Uh, next up is the power menu, and they actually give you a ton of uh, 
options on your power menu. Um, just to have the screen record and screenshot, uh, one of the two options that I use a lot, uh, you know, says a lot for, uh, for this. I like that. Uh, power menu animations, basically you have your uh, standard Omni default, uh, and then you can go with your uh, bottom or top animations uh, if you guys want. Uh, that's going to bring up, uh, well, that's pretty much it for buttons. Uh, we're going to now go into lock screen settings. Uh, these are your settings for the lock screen. Disable quick settings uh, when locked if you guys want to do that. Uh, and then you have your disable uh, media wallpaper. Um, styles is up next. Basically, this is uh, the theming. Uh, Omni does come with the dark, uh, the dark mode if you guys want to run with that. Uh, this is what it would look like if you want to run with the dark mode. Um, I, if I run with the dark mode, I kind of like it black uh, as opposed to the gray and green. But I know a lot of you guys like it, so you know it is there uh, to run if you want to run it. Uh, you do have your Omni wallpapers, which again, if you guys have watched any of my reviews in the past, um, I really give high, uh, high marks to a ROM that comes with its own wallpapers built right in the ROM. Um, I think that that's an outstanding feature. Uh, it used to be <laughs> uh, you flashed custom ROMs and you know all custom ROMs came with their own wallpapers. Now anymore um, you flash the ROM then you go to their Google Plus, or Google Plus community and you download their their ROM or their wallpapers one at a time and go to gallery and you know and all that. I like it this way. I like the built-in wallpaper changer app. Um, you do have the battery display. Uh, the battery display is pretty cool actually. Um, that you know they have uh, they do have that droid style which I like uh, I'd love to see battery bar in this they don't have that uh, they do give you the coloring for charging features though so if you want to have uh, you know uh, some color up there it's only going to show when you're charging um, so but uh, it is nice that they have that uh, like I said guys before if you like running a battery bar uh, you can go to the Play Store there's a, a app called um, uh, Team Battery Bar and Team Battery Bar Pro. Uh, I highly recommend you get the Pro version. It's well worth uh, what they're asking for. It. And plus, it's a donation to the uh, developers, which, again, you guys know me. I do support uh, giving donations to the developers. Um, next up is going to be headers. Uh, it does come with header Im images. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, I already uh, installed some header packs. Um, but it does come, its headers are the, uh, uh, the side headers, basically, uh, which are the Omni headers. Um, but I'm going with uh, the ones that I like. Basically, I just go random. Uh, that uh, switches up constantly, and I'm getting a little bit of a sample of everything that's there. So that's how I like to run it. Um, you can go with static. I didn't try it yet, but if you go with static, you're, if you click on Browse Headers, uh, these are your standard or default. And if you click on the drop down, you can go through here. Um, uh, let's say we'll go aside and see what all the different ones are that they have. Uh, let's say I wanted to go with that red one there. I just long press on that, and now it would be that would be my header for permanently. That would never change uh, if that's the way you guys want to run it. Uh, it, and, it and static's working great. I like to go uh, dynamic, obviously, and uh, I do like to run it random. Uh, next up is going to be the uh, browse installed headers. Uh, again, I showed you that, and then you have your uh, header image shadow. Uh, basically, what that does is that darkens up your header image. Um, sometimes it makes it a little bit easier to read some of the, uh, you know, like the date, the time, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, sometimes not. I usually run mine almost off. I like seeing that header, uh, and that's just how I run it. Um, that's pretty much it for style. Now, under more. Uh, you have your device host name. If you guys are into changing that, uh, you can do it here. Uh, they do have the uh, screenshot um, crop and share if you guys want to run with that. I tend to just uh, stick with a full screen uh, screenshot and then just crop it uh, when I'm in uh, the gallery app. Um, you have your vo uh, volume dialog headers. Uh, you have time and state and wake locks. I highly suggest that if you don't know what you're doing in wake locks, stay out of that. Uh, make a backup because, again, guys, those wake-ups, you can actually miss your phone calls and your uh, uh, texts and emails, um, you know, just by, you know, screwing with the wake locks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit display, let you guys see what's in display. It's pretty much standard, um, you know, nougat, 
I really didn't see anything out of the ordinary in there. Um, you have your display size uh, if you guys want to, uh, you know, change that. And, of course, your font size. Um, the only thing I didn't find, it, it did have where you could change the battery. But there was nothing on this ROM that I could find as far as notification uh, goes for the uh, notification light. Uh, next up, we're going to hit sounds. Well, actually, let's hit notifications, and let's see if I can find it underneath the settings. Um, let's see, charging applications. Oh, here it is. This Here's where your LED notifications are. So, good. I'm glad I did check that out. Uh, we're going to go in here, and I'm going to actually go... Um, why isn't it showing? We're going to go 0, 0, F, F, 0, 0. <laughs> All right. See, and it's not showing that. I'm just going to keep going back, back, back. And then let's go 0, 0, F, F, 0, 0. That's the true Android green. Click OK. And I'm just going to leave it like that. You guys can set it up, again, however you want. Uh, you do have your uh, battery charging indicators there. Um, you know, and of course, uh, on lock screen, you're basically going to show uh, what notifications you want to show on your lock screen. Uh, under under sound, uh, again, pretty standard. Now, I do like the fact that they have the link ring and notifications together. Uh, I like that. Um, and these, of course, are your other sound settings. And I'm going to go ahead and shut them all off uh, let's see I usually like to hit security quickly um, these are your basic security settings uh, administrator if you guys want to shut that off that's where that is make sure you have unknown sources turned on I mean you don't have to but if you're gonna if you're new to Android and you want to install anything off your uh, internal storage or anything that you downloaded you're gonna have to have that turned on uh, screen print or screen pinnings all the way at the bottom um, what else do they have here? Uh, developer options. Again, I didn't really see anything that stood out uh, as different uh, underneath the developer options. And I did notice underneath the drawing uh, that they have, uh, and I didn't change this. It's 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then under the duration scale, they have that set at 1. And I'm pretty much, I'm, I just left it uh, exactly the way it is. Uh, and it seems to be pretty smooth, pretty fluid. Um, and the animations actually look pretty good, so I'm going to leave it there. And that is about it for that. Um, I did flash Super Sue. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure whether or not the ROM comes with uh, Super User installed or Super Sue installed, uh, but I went ahead and flashed my own because I wanted to go with a little older version. Uh, I went with 2.6.7 uh, just because one of my apps that I use does not like the newer uh, Super User. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's Omni. Um, again, it's running great. Uh, the, uh, like I said uh, before or at the beginning of the video, Omni is one of those ROMs uh, that just runs. Um, they don't put a lot of custom features in it because it's, it's a solid ROM. Uh, even though, yes, I know, we have a lot of ROMs out there that have custom features and a ton of them that's solid. Uh, you've, you've heard me uh, rant about <laughs> my favorite ROMs uh, that I run all the time. Um, and again, they're solid. But this is Omni. That's the way they want it. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. Uh, again, my high marks for Omni um, is, again, uh, it's reliable. Uh, I love the wallpaper app. Um, and, it, and it just, again, runs. So, guys, uh, if you liked the video, oh, I know what I wanted to do. Um, I did a review earlier on the uh, on a uh, theme and I wanted to show you guys quickly because uh, I was asked about uh, installing the theme and uh, I want to show you how simple it is to install that theme that I uh, did the review on and that theme is called pastel dark let me find it here <laughs> see if I can find it I, I know I passed it uh, shaded six six. There it is, pastel dark. Um, I did, like I said, I did the review on this earlier. Um, but it's this is how easy it is to install this. All you do is toggle that on, scroll down until you you know pick and choose what you actually want the theme uh, to theme. Like say, if you didn't want the phone theme, you just uncheck it. 
Um, I actually want all of this themed, so I check them all. And once you once you uh, toggle that toggle on like that, then you click on the little paint roller icon, uh, hit install selected. I'm not going to do it because this runs in legacy mode, and then I'm going to have to reboot it. And since I'm doing a screen record, uh, it's going to screw up the video. But that's it. You just hit install selected. Uh, it'll tell you, well, we'll go ahead and do it, and I'll show you. It's going to install it. I'm going to pause till it's done. All right, it's almost done. We're at the uh, pretty much the last part. And whenever, the, whenever it's done, it's going to tell you that we need to reboot it like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click later because I'm not going to reboot it. Uh, like I said, it'll screw the video up. Yeah, it's still going. Oh, I thought I thought the video had stopped. Um, but that's pretty much how you do that. Uh, I also wanted to um, I wanted to show you guys the launcher that it comes with. So I'm going to pause it again. And uh, as you guys can see, this is the uh, stock launcher that it comes with. Um, it's you know it's almost like Pixel Launcher. Uh, you just swipe up to get your app to get to your app drawer. Swipe back down. Um, and, I mean, it's that simple. I know some of you guys said you wanted to see the launcher that it comes with and all that. That you're you know tired of seeing Nova Launcher. So uh, I figured I'd let you guys see that too. And basically, that's it, guys. This is exactly how it comes flashed. Uh, this is what it will look like um, you know on your very very first boot up. So. Uh, well, guys, uh, this is OmniROM for the Nexus 6. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I do want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you guys on the next one.